What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I'm wearing my glasses today. Um, I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning, which is later than, um, oh, well, yesterday I had school, right? And so um, I left at around 3.30 and I showed up at school. Class started at six, you know? And, uh, you know, it was going reasonably well until about 6.30 when the power went out. Um, there was a rather big storm last night uh, because of a sort of freak cyclone that, that came uh, up to um, the Pacific Northwest area. Um, and so that led to a lot of people without any power um, and that a lot of people included my college. Um, and so power went out. Um, something fun and nice that I want to mention is that I was using my laptop. Whenever I'm in class, I'm using my laptop as my primary computer and I have my laptop connected to my phone uh, as a hotspot. So, so my phone's running a hotspot um, and then I have my, uh, my laptop connected to my phone and that's how I connect to the internet on my laptop because the school Wi-Fi is a little weird. Um, despite being pretty fast, you know, which makes sense for university Wi-Fi. Um, I'm happy that colleges are known for fast Wi-Fi because, um, you know, you compare that to my, uh, to my high school's Wi-Fi and, you know, <laughs> right. Um, but anyway, so, so it was actually quite nice because the power went out and everything went dark. Um, although my phone was still on because it was battery powered, um, and my laptop was still on because it was battery powered. So, um, despite any, uh, despite everybody in the moment, uh, no longer having any access to technology, um, I was the only one, I think, I think I was the only one who uh, w was not affected by the power outage, you know? Like, nothing I was using was connected to the power, it was all battery, and so I just thought that was neat. Um, although, of course, as you could imagine, you know, uh, uh, the, cl uh, the classes from 6 to 9 and the class being 3 hours sort of just inherently depends on there being power, you know, there being things to show the students on the projector and, and so on. Um, and so class did have to get cut short. Um, we did talk for about 20 more minutes um, because, you know, my professor isn't a fool, you know, like he, he can talk about what the material we were going to talk about today was, but of course we can't get as in-depth because we don't have the source material um, projected onto the wall. Um, uh, but, you know, um, class went on for about 20 minutes and then of course we left early because <laughs> And, you know, the, the, the room was illuminated by people's phone flashlights. Um, and, you know, uh, yeah, something interesting is when I was leaving college, um, I saw a whole bunch of people gathered around the door to an elevator and a whole bunch of people in fluorescent vests sort of looking at the elevator and they had some panels open, they were figuring it out. Um, and presumably uh, the power went out um, when someone was in the elevator and so they had to work on getting them out, which sucks, um, you know. Uh, it, it, I, I would really hate to be trapped in an elevator, um, although I would be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little interested in it. I feel like, um, you know, I'm happy how safe elevators are. They're like one of the safer, you know, things you can interact with um, that move you around. Uh, however, uh, I, I, I do think it's one of the... Like, I feel like, I feel like an elevator is, like, the lowest stakes transportation medium that could go wrong. That's interesting. Um, and so, um, you know, like, if you're in a plane and it goes wrong, that's really bad. And if you're in a car it goes, and it goes wrong, that's really bad. And a lot of the times, if you're in a train and it goes wrong, that's really bad. But I feel like in an elevator, it's, uh, you know, relative to, like, being in a plane crash, it's it's kind of an inconvenience. Um, and so, you know, I feel like uh, being trapped in an elevator would be a, an experience I'm interested in at some point in my life, but I wouldn't complain if it never happened to me because that's objectively good, right? Um, and statistically unlikely, so it makes sense. Um, but but um, yeah, so somebody was trapped in, in the elevator at college, which I find interesting. Um, and so, you know, we left. Um, you know, I ended up getting home about two hours early. I got home at like eight instead of at, God, like 10 or 11. Um, which is when I normally get home. Um, and so I should have been able to go to sleep earlier. Um, I ended up wasting a lot of time and going to bed at a time in which I normally would go to bed on a school day, like a, Wednesday, uh, like a, like a Tuesday. Um, but you know, that's okay. I was planning on putting up the Christmas tree today, but I ended up postponing that yet again because um, I just didn't have that much time today uh, by virtue of me waking up at nine instead of 
you know, I should have woken up at like 7. Um, what else? Um, oh, one more interesting thing is when I was taking the escalator out of the, out of the train station downtown um, on my way home, um, the escalator had obviously had its power cut. It wasn't dark. I'm sure they had some sort of backup generator or something like it wasn't dark, like the lights were on, but the escalator wasn't working. Um, and a lot of the time when that's the case, they put like fences up so you can't walk up and down this, um, this broken escalator. Um, however, I think this had happened before they were able to do that. So I was able to walk up the broken escalator, like a set of stairs. And I just thought that was fun. Um, and yeah, so I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning. I had um, a banana and some pizza. I had five slices of pizza. Yeah, yeah, I had five slices of pizza. I also exercised. I walked four and a half miles today. Um, so I've closed, I, I've hit my calorie burning goal. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, so then at 2.30, uh, we drove to Costco, my, my, my family and I. Um, uh, for the eye doctor. Um, I interacted with this machine for the first time, which according to my dad is a $30 charge. Um, so that's bothersome, but um, um, I think this is what it is. Yeah, Daytona from Optos. I interacted with this really weird looking thing. Um, so basically, so, so this sort of white patch here, it's very squishy. It's like silicone. It's kind of like skin and you poke your eye up against it. Um, and then you have to, to like focus your eye on a target which changes color depending on how ideal your eye position is. So um, it's red and then you kind of have to move your eye around while it's sort of touching this uh, sort of peephole. Um, and then eventually this target turns green. And once that happens, it, um, everything gets really green like some of the greenest I've seen, you know. Um, it just like flashes your eye with a lot of green light and it sort of it, there's like a weird spinning effect it's, it's very interesting um, and it's a very unique effect um, however that results in a photo like this or a photo like like this and uh, I don't know exactly how it works and I think this is reductive reductive enough to be false um, but I looked it up, it sort of vaguely seems like an x-ray for your eye, pretty much, so it sees if you're gonna have any problems in the future um, with that sort of weird photo. So that's like that, that little weird orange circle I showed earlier is like what your eye is kind of supposed to look like when they shine it with this weird green light. Um, um, and yeah, so, so I got my prescription updated. Um, I also got some new contacts, so I'm happy about that. Um, and so that's why I'm wearing glasses today. I, I, I took out my contacts this morning after I put them in because I realized, um, like, oh, I'm going to the eye doctor. They're going to want me to take off um, any sort of corrective sort of uh, any sort of corrective device that I have uh, when it comes to my vision. So um, I didn't want to hold on. So I didn't want to like have to take out my contacts at the eye doctor. So I just throw on my glasses so I could just take them off like this. Although it reminds me of how much I hated, 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 hated glasses. And so this is definitely a short term thing. You know, the, tomorrow morning I'm definitely going to be putting my contacts in. Um, and yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, I had some Zupa Toscana that I heated up at home that we got from Costco today and that was pretty tasty. I was kind of inclined to get some Costco cafeteria food, but I ended up not. Um, say what you will about like the Costco guys, but they're uh, very effective marketing for Costco food, you know? Um, I was also, you know, while I was waiting for uh, my dad to be finished with his eye doctor appointment so I could do mine, um, 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 I was able to look at the technology section at Costco as well, and that's always very cool because they always have like the new MacBooks and um, they had the new uh, Snapdragon ARM-based Windows. Uh, that they have the new Windows laptops that are ARM-based, um, and that was really cool. That's the first time I've ever interacted with one. Um, and yeah, I I really like interacting with MacBooks. Um, they are definitely not a computer I would own. Uh, it's just certainly not my style, but. Um, you know, I, 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 it's undeniable that they're very good machines, especially after the, they came out with the M chips, you know, like, 
uh, if you don't mind Mac OS, I, I feel like, um, uh, if you, if you don't mind Mac OS, I feel like Macintoshes are a very good buy right now, considering just how powerful they are for how much power they draw. Um, how, yeah, there, there's just a lot of performance efficiency. I can imagine myself in maybe five or 10 years, um, ordering a used M series Mac laptop, uh, and running, uh, Asahi Linux on it if Asahi gets Oh, just a, just a little bit more stable, um, you know, because, um, you know, uh, the, the primary reason why I don't use a MacBook is because I don't like Mac OS and you can't really boot camp on them anymore. Um, so, um, um, but, you know, one thing I do love about MacBooks is they're just exceptional build. They're just made, they, they, they're, they're very nice machines. Um, and yeah, bye.